If you only date to find a lifetime partner, then I want you to know you are not alone. I know that in today's world, it really feels like we are the minority, the people who choose to date to find long-term partners, if not lifetime partners, at least that being the end goal. It seems like a lot of people nowadays choose the route of short-term relationships, of casual hookups and casual flings, of basically just playing games, trying to enter and exit as many holes as possible and tally up a high score. But I want you to know, just because it appears that way doesn't necessarily mean that that's actually the truth. And I do know that dating apps don't really lead a lot of evidence to what I'm saying because they kind of do seem to promote this hookup culture. But I actually truly believe most people are seeking a lifetime partner. Most people actually want a meaningful, long lasting relationship. It's just a lot of people get kind of confused by all the propaganda that's thrown our way where, you know, there's a lot of BS out there trying to push people towards this hookup culture by making it seem amazing. I mean, you need you need open TikTok for no longer than like five minutes to come across tons of videos that promote horrible relationship and dating advice about like how to cheat on your partner, how to manipulate people into sleeping with you and other crap like that. So it's out there. There's a lot of propaganda trying to steer people in the direction of hookup culture. And I have another theory there that a lot of that propaganda is created by people who've engaged in hookup culture and feel guilty and regret what they've done. So they end up making content trying to make other people follow a similar path to reduce their own discomfort. It's basically misery loves its company, right? So when people don't feel great about themselves, they want other people to not feel great. So there you go. <laughs> I mean, I could be completely wrong here, but that's just the theory that I have. So I truly do believe most people actually want long-term meaningful relationships. But because of the cultures that we live in, it can be a bit disheartening when you look out there and you sometimes don't find a lot of evidence to show that that's a a reality or that it's even possible even when you do meet people who have relationships that have lasted a while how many of them actually end up getting married and then when you do meet people who are married how many of their marriages seem to last so it's a problem that is really unfortunate and there are solutions but a lot of them deal with education which probably isn't going to change at all. So yeah, the, the prob these problems are probably here to stay because the, the solutions to them are not going to be put into action. So knowing that, all we can really do is choose to work on ourselves. And with that, I would say do not settle. If you really date for finding a lifetime partner, do not settle. Like, just don't. I would say it's better to be single than to be in the wrong relationship. And if you're in a relationship with someone that you can't envision being your lifetime partner, and that's what you want, that's your goal, then don't stay with them. Like, don't settle for people who don't match your vision. But at the same time, please make sure you have realistic standards because you could go your whole life staying single if your standards are abnormally high. So first and foremost, make sure the person you want actually exists. You don't want to be looking for some unicorn that isn't out there. So that's the first step. Just create a list of maybe like five qualities max that you want someone to have. If you go beyond that, then yeah, you start running the risk of heading into unicorn territory. So don't make up too much criteria, just figure out what things you must have in a lifetime partner. And then pursue people who have those qualities and wait for people who have them. Do not settle. And then make sure you work on yourself while you keep going through life. Just continuously keep becoming a better human being. Because over time, what that's going to do is it'll hopefully attract better, better quality partners into your life. Because you'll start attracting people who like what they see in you. People who are of a similar wavelength. Have you ever noticed how usually successful people kind of they like conglomerate, <laughs> they like group up together and that's, they surround themselves with each other pretty much. Well, the same thing goes for people who work on their personalities and work on becoming better human beings. They tend to group together as well. So if you're doing that, if you're naturally working on evolving as a human being, then the odds are over time you'll surround yourself with better people, which means your dating pool also consists 
of better people. So it's in your own best interest to continuously keep working on yourself. It will eventually attract higher quality partners into your life who can hopefully meet your criteria for a lifetime partner. So it's really, there, there's no point in not working on yourself, right? But I just wanted to make this quick video. That's pretty much all I have for you because I just want to talk about this subject because I do understand that, yeah, it can be a bit disheartening. It can feel kind of lonely if your goal in dating is to find a lifetime partner because it does seem like not a lot of people hold that same goal, but that's only because the minority of people who engage in hookup culture are just so vocal about it. And I've already kind of explained why that could be, you know, that whole misery loves its company idea. So just try not to buy into that. I do still believe that a lot of people want a lifetime partner. It's just not many of them are equipped to create that. And that's one of the issues. So all you can really do is just keep working on yourself and keep paying attention for people who meet your criteria. And then once you find them, do not let them go. But that's pretty much all I have for you. I truly hope you enjoyed this video. If you like content like this, be sure to subscribe for more. Otherwise, the easiest way you can help me out is just to throw a like and a comment on the video for the algorithm. And I will see you guys in the next video. Arrivederci!